Welcome to our today's lesson. Under the chapter of light, we are going to investigate transparent, translucent, and opaque materials. We are going to see also how those materials are going to behave when I direct or we direct source of light towards them. Now, I'll start with my material. The first one is a piece of wood, which I have it here. And I may ask, the first thing we are going to do is to look through it. Now, when we look through this piece of wood, or when you look at it, can anyone see through it? When I look through this piece of wood, I can see through it. Then, by the end of it, I'll conclude that this piece of wood cannot allow, when one sees through it, he or she cannot see through it. So, what will happen when I have the source of light with me, then I direct it towards the piece of light. Will it behave in a different way? With me, I have a torch. Now, when I light it and direct the light towards my piece of wood, will the piece of wood allow some light or all the light through it? Let's look through it. Can you see some light passing through the piece of wood to the other side? When we look at it, it's not allowing some light to pass through. Neither have we seen through it. So what can we conclude from the piece of wood? We cannot see through it and it can not allow light to pass through it. The second material with me is the fluorescent frosted glass. We have the frosted glass. Now, can we all look through it and see whether we can see through it? Can you see through the frosted glass? When I look through it, I can't see through it. So, the same thing with the piece of wood. The frosted glass, when one sees or looks through it, he or she cannot see through it. Now, what if I direct the source of light towards the frosted glass? Can we check whether it will allow a lot of light or some light to pass through? Or will it behave like the piece of wood? Let us see. Can you see what is happening? From the frosted glass, when I look keenly, it is allowing some light to pass through it. So, what observations can we make through it? When we look through the frosted glass, we are not able to see the other side of it. But when I direct the source of light towards it, it is allowing some light to pass through it. Now, we'll conclude the materials which allow some light to pass through them, but one cannot see them or cannot see through them. By the end of it, we'll have a very good conclusion on the name we give to those materials. I have the other material with me, which is a piece of cloth. Now, look at this piece of cloth. What can you see from it when you look through it? Can anyone try what you can see through when you look at this piece of cloth? Can you see anything? Can you see behind it when you look through it? No. When we look through the piece of cloth, we can see through it. What does that mean? 
recall those materials which will not allow one to see through them. The same thing to this material. Will it allow some light to pass through it or will it allow a lot of light to pass through it when I direct the source of light through it? Now, we can have a look of it. With me, the source of light, that is the torch. Let me direct it through the piece of cloth to see whether it will allow some of the light to pass through it. Are you seeing anything? From the other side, is the light allowed to pass through this kind of material? Okay. When I look through it, and when I direct the light to pass through it, at least it's allow, allowing just slight some light which is not so much visible through it. Then, the first thing we have not seen through the material. The second thing, when we, I direct the source of light towards it, it's allowing just small amount of light, slightly small amount. So, by the end of it, we'll conclude the kind of cloth, which type of material is this cloth or which classification can we put this piece of cloth. Let us have a look of the other material with me. Who can have a suggestion of how we call this kind of material I have? Yes. This is a clear glass. This is a clear glass. Now, when you look through it, as I hold it, can you be able to see the other side of the clear glass? Yes? Okay. When I look through it, or when we look through it, we can see all the other things which are behind it. When you are looking through it, you can see very clearly the other side of the clear glass. What does that mean? The clear glass is allowing one to see through it. The second step, what if I direct my source of light towards it? Now, I light the torch towards the source, the piece of all the clear glass. This is wow. It is allowing all, almost all the light to pass through it. So this clear glass is different from the other materials we have had. Since it's allowing us to see through it, we, it's enabling us to see through it, and when I'm directing the source of light through it, it is allowing the light to pass through it clearly. Okay. Let's have another material which is a piece of paper, a white piece of paper. Are you seeing it clearly? When you look through it, can you see when? Hoping that everybody is looking at it very well. When you look through this sheet of paper, can you see through it? When I try to look through it, I can't see the other side of the paper. That means this paper is not allowing us to see through it. So what happens when I also direct the source of light at the back of the paper? Will it allow some light to pass through? Let us try. And yes. We can see it's allowing some light to pass through it. I have another material with me. Now, when you look at this material or this object, what is it? When you look at it, can you conclude or can you have can you mention the name of this object? Yes. Yes, that is 
a stone. It is a stone. Now, if you look at it, can you see through it? Let's look through it and see whether we can see the other side of the stone. When we look very keenly through the stone, we can see through it. Let's try when we direct the source of light towards it, whether it is going to allow the light to pass through it, like the, some of my other materials. Oh yes. Who can tell us what he or she is seeing? Okay. I'm seeing that this one is not allowing either any source of light to pass through it. Then finally we have to know how, what the name we give to this kind of stone, which is not allowing us to see through it, and it's also not allowing the light to pass through it. Now, from all our materials which we have done experiment with, we are going to group them in deep different categories according to how they have behaved when we have directed the light towards them and when we have looked through them. Let's start with our first, the clear glass. When we held the clear glass, one thing is allowing the light to pass through it and we can see through it. So the materials which allow light to pass through them and one can see through them, we call them transparent materials. We call them transparent materials. So a clear glass is an example of a transparent material. The other material we had is the frosted glass. The frosted glass did not allow us to look through it. When we looked through it, we were not able to see anything. But when we directed light towards it, we were able to see that it was allowing some light to pass through it. So the materials which allow us to see through them, they, they, they allow light to pass through them, but we can't see through them are called translucent materials, like frosted glass. We had also the piece of wood, which did, we were not able to see through it, and when we directed light towards it, it did not even allow light to pass through it. So we group it as an opaque material. The same thing applies to the stone, when we have looked through it, we are not able to see anything. When we directed the light through it, or at its back, we were, it was not allowing some light to pass through it. Totally, no light was allowed to pass through it. That is what we call also an opaque material. The same with a piece of cloth, which did not allow light to pass through it, just likely light was able to be seen on the other side, but when we, one, when we looked through it, we were not able to see clearly. That one we group it, the same group with the stone that is an opaque material. Let's go to the uses of transparent materials. We start with our glass, that is the clear glass, which we have grouped it as a transparent material. How do we apply them in our daily lives? We have our window panes, we use the clear glass since they are allowing light to pass through it and one can see through it. That is why we have them used in our houses as window panes. We also have spectacles which use clear glass to enable one to see through them clearly. Now, how do we use the frosted glass, which is a translucent material? 
frosted glass being a translucent material which will not allow one to see through it clearly but allow some light to pass through it's used for 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 bathroom windows we have them used and in washrooms and also we have them used as skylights in our houses that is the translucent material that is made of glass which is found on top of our roofs to allow some light to pass through now to this category of opaque materials which are not allowing light to pass through them and yet they cannot allow light to pass through them and we can't see through them we use the piece of wood in building and construction the same with stones since they are for privacy they will not allow a lot of light to pass through our houses and they will not also allow one to see through the houses since they are used we use them as privacy when a house is constructed using the stone and the wood one will not see anything from the house from, uh, from outside what about the clothes in our daily lives we have the clothes which we wear they are also, they help us or provide privacy. When we have our clothes, we don't have to fear since we are, no one can see through them. And yet, the light does not pass through it. Now, as we conclude our lesson, what did I call the materials which allow light to pass through them and allow light to pass through them? A trial that is good. We have the transparent materials which allow light to pass through them and one can see through them. Then we have the translucent material. What did we say translucent materials are? Yes, translucent materials are materials which will allow some light to pass through them and one will not see through them. Opaque materials, we are saying they are also the materials which will not allow light to pass through them or one will not see through them.